BTEC Applied Science Unit 3. Unit 3 is called Science Investigation Skills. Now, Year 2 Applied Science. In Year 1, you do Certificate. You do Units 1 and 2. In Year 2, you do Extended Certificate. And uh, at, at least this is what we do in my college. And basically, you do a unit chosen by your teacher and you do unit three. For example, uh, my lot do unit 16, which is astronomy, astronomy and space science, because I'm a physics teacher. So it's either that or electricity. Uh, and that is assessed internally. You do reports and your teacher will give them a mark and some of them will be sent off for moderation. And you do unit three, which is the science investigation skills, and that is assessed externally. You'll have an exam in May or June. Looking at the guided learning hours, GLH, notice that unit three is twice as much as the other unit. And that that basically means it's worth twice as much. It's two thirds of the marks in year two is unit three. So it's very important. It's worth twice as many marks as the optional unit. What do we do in science investigation skills? Well, a lot of it, you know this already. It's all about doing the what you're supposed to be doing. There's one or two other little tricky bits involved. Uh, I've done lots of videos on this. We will work our way through the videos. We'll become experts planning uh, investigations, collecting data and processing the data, uh, interpreting the data, analyzing it and evaluation. You know, we did this at GCSE and basically you should be getting more and more sophisticated and better at doing it. And now we're doing it at a high level. Now, the skills will be discussed and applied to the following contexts. We're going to learn a bit more biology, a bit more chemistry, and a bit more physics. And there are one, two, three, four, five context areas. Uh, enzymes, diffusion, plants, fuels, and electrical circuits. So we'll learn a bit more physics, chemistry, biology, and the skills that we are talking about will be applied to experiments and theory involving these five context areas. How are we going to do it? Well, my plan is to cover the theory for a particular context. We'll start learning about enzymes. Uh, we'll discuss a selection of scientific skills. We'll do some experiments. There'll be some important key experiments involving enzymes and we will carry them out. We'll do at least one full investigation for each of the context areas. And as we work our way through them, we will become experts with all of the things that I mentioned earlier, so that when we get to the exam, we will uh, we'll, uh, slaughter it. You must have a copy of the revision guide. It has everything you need to know in it. There's lots and lots about unit three in the revision guide. Uh, the teachers at Stockton Sixth Form will put loads of stuff on the VLE and the internet. For example, this PowerPoint, my YouTube channel. Uh, every lesson will be important as the skills build on each other. So don't miss any lessons, okay? About the exam, the Unit 3 exam, Part A and Part B. Part A is a practical task. About a week before the exam, you'll be asked to do an experiment. OK, we may spend a couple of lessons doing it. And basically, we are doing an experiment to generate results. And then your results you will take into the exam and you will use these results to do things. For example, you might be asked to put it in a proper table, work out means, plot a graph, whatever. So part A is an experiment generates results, you take it into the exam, which is part B. A written exam, an hour and a half, uh, you'll be tested on your knowledge of the five context areas. 
You'll be tested on the skills that you should have learned. For example, you will definitely have to write a plan in the, in the paper. Uh, you will be, you'll be asked to do tasks using the data that you got in part A. For example, a table and a graph or some kind of analysis, maybe a chi-squared test perhaps. Okay, And you can't do part B unless you've done part A. So don't miss part A. Very, very important. You can't do part B unless you've done part A. Here are some questions you should be able to answer if you've been listening. What's the title of Unit 3? Why is Unit 3 more important than the other unit that you do in Year 2? What are the five context areas? What is the first step in planning an investigation? Uh, what does it mean to evaluate? Uh, what should you identify? What should you definitely buy if you don't have one already? What is Part A? How long is part B? OK, if you can't answer these, then have another look at this video. Have another look anyway.